you see that the leading edge of that uh, control surface right there is thicker than the trailing edge. So obviously you're going to use the longer screw um, towards the leading edge and the shorter screw back here. And they explain that in the manual, but it's just something to remember when you're uh, when you're running through the assembly. So the servo's pre-installed. And then that little uh, lead right there plugs into those um, channel 2 extensions that I showed you in the tail of the fuselage. Same thing on this side. Um, markings on the top, nothing on the bottom. And this piece right here is uh, nice and rigid. It's got a couple of hard plastic points right there. And I'll show you what those are for in just one second. So in the main hardware bag um, that all the other uh, smaller hardware bags are tucked into, um, you'll also find these pieces. Um, this is the cap that caps the center section of the two uh, tail sub-assemblies that I just showed you. Um, these, those little plastic pieces that I showed you on um, the tail piece, that little slot, this is a fiberglass, um, some sort of composite, super, super rigid. Um, it slides in um, half and half and locks the, uh, the V-tail together. So. This would go right in there, and then the, the other end goes in here. So it's basically like a small spar, um, and that's where the uh, the tail surface gets its uh, rigidity from. And then, if you remember, in the tail of the fuselage, I just showed you that little um, half inch uh, aluminum uh, spar, I guess you would call it, with the holes in it. Um, this gets screwed into that. And then this piece covers that. Okay. And your servos will stick out through this piece here. And then you run your linkages back to your control surface. Okay, here's um, the aluminum wing joiner tube you can see it's uh it's pretty thick it's got a small hole um maybe a sixteenth of an inch i don't know if that goes all the way through or not but um and then it's got this center stop that's glued in some of the previous kits the ones that did not have the gold motor and had the pilot um the other pilot that i described looks like his hands are sticking up in the air um they had um, a couple of, they had one issue. I don't know how many kits uh, had the problem, but where the the joiner and the spar, the aluminum spar on the wing that the joiner slid into, um, the wings, wing halves weren't quite mating up properly. You had to do a little, uh, a little filing or a little Dremel work to get it to fit properly. But this kit um, with the new pilot, the gold motor, um, this is the updated version. There is no problem. I, I fit everything uh, before I did this video. And the joiner tube slides into the wing halves and everything fits um, very nicely with no issues whatsoever. Okay, so we went over the big parts bag. This is going to cover your, um, your tail servos. These are the pins that I talked about that once you put your wing... Uh, Slide your wing halves into the fuselage. Um, these simply drop into the holes in the top of the fuselage, and then they um, lock into place. And um, I'll probably order another set of these um, just to have them. I can see myself breaking one of those. But And then to uh, disassemble, you just slide uh, a small screwdriver or whatever you've got into the top of that hole. And... Uh, Lift it gently and they, they pop right out nicely. And the last thing we've got is there's three large screws here. Um, not sure. Not sure what those are for. I don't recall in the manual, but there's three um, long screws there. And then the other bags are all um, 
the different control surfaces for your ailerons, uh, your flaps, uh, your tail surfaces, and they give you an Allen, uh, Allen wrench and a grub screw. Uh, I don't recall what that's for. I apologize. And then these are your servo horns for the tail surfaces. And uh, you can see it. There's a couple small screws in there, too. So that's it. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six small bags. Um, and they're all tucked into this larger bag with your uh, wing retainer pins, your tail spar, uh, your tail servo cap, and a an, uh, little uh, inexpensive uh, Phillips head screwdriver. I'm usually not a big fan of these, but um, I throw them in my field box if somebody needs one. It's just getting into hobby. There's not a lot of tools that I'll pass them along. Um, one other thing that they did include in the kit is a um, battery adapter. So, so many of us are using these um, E-Flight um, batteries uh, to Dean's. So, uh, that was included in the kit. I did order that several days. So, that's it, guys. That's a look at the, um, the Rock Hobby 2200mm uh, V-Tail. Uh, once I get it assembled, I'll do another video. I'll bring it out in the yard and uh, give you uh, a look at it top, bottom. And, uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, as always, leave a message uh, in the uh, section below. Make sure to hit the like button. I really appreciate that. Um, if you take a minute, just hit that like button. And if you like the videos and you want to keep seeing more, uh, hit the subscribe button. And next to the uh, subscribe button is a bell, a little icon um, of a bell. And if you click that, um, you'll receive a notification when we upload uh, new videos, which is helpful when we do um, a build series like the Airtronic Cylinder 2 that we uh, think from Part 60. So that's it, guys. Appreciate you checking out Radio Flight. You can also check out Elliot Penn performance rc on facebook and rc glider universe on facebook check those out um as soon as i get a member request to join those groups um i check them several times daily i'll uh i'll add you to the group and uh you can share what uh whatever it is that you've got going on rc gliders planes helicopters whatever it is on either one of those groups on facebook all right, guys, have a great day, and as always, we'll see you at the field.